We'll guide you through how to install all the mod 9 in Minecraft. If you find this guide useful then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, quit Minecraft. And then what you need to do is open a web browser. Now just before we get any further, a big shout out to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. They're my go-to Minecraft server host and they've got so many awesome features. For example, one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support so you can get help anytime you need it using Apex's live chat assistance from experienced server administrators. And there's other features as well, which you can see as well. So if you're interested, there'll go and be a link in the pinned comment and the description and you can get 25% off your first invoice as well. So a big thanks to Apex, but to continue with the guide, all you want to do is search for something called Curse Forge. So Curse Forge is essentially a mod pack loader as well as other things as well, but go to curseforge.com. And then what you need to do is go to the top right and click on get Curse Forge app. And then you need to click on download standalone. It's important to note you will need to have Minecraft already installed. So you need to own it and have it installed for this to work. Click on download standalone. It'll go and take a moment and it should start downloading just like so. And then what you can do is go and close off your browser and you need to go and open up your file explorer. Come to your downloads and then here is Curse Forge. So go and double click on it like so. And then we can go and install it. So first of all, go and choose your language. I've got English selected and click next. There's the installation folder and you then need to accept the terms of use and privacy policy and you need to confirm you're at least 18 years old. I've already read this and I confirm so I'll press next and then you need to agree to this here as well which I do. So I'll click on accept and install and it's now installing Curse Forge. So all you need to do is sit back and wait. It will then go and load and it should automatically detect Minecraft on the left here. If it doesn't, click on the plus and you can go and manually add it or scan your computer for games. Then click on my mod packs and I have already got some packs here because I've used CurseForge before, but you wanna go and click on browse like so, and then it should have mod pack selected and you can then scroll down and you should be able to find all the mods nine here. If you can't find it, you can always search for it and you can then go and click on it. You can go and you know read through here, see some info about it, and you can then just go and click on install in the top right. And now what's gonna happen is it's gonna start downloading all of the mods, it's super simple. So just go and wait for this to finish. The time this takes will depend on your internet speed. For me, it did take a good few minutes. Once it's finished, you can click on play. And now when you go and click on my mod packs, it's gonna go and appear here as well. You can click on it and you can then click play. Now it says launching game. So what's gonna happen is, is the Minecraft launcher is gonna open up. Then if we look to the left of play, as you can see, we can then see the pack there. Make sure it's selected, click play. You'll need to understand the wrist as you're playing a modified version of Minecraft. And now it's gonna go and load. It may have to do another download here though, so just be patient. The All The Mods 9 pack has now gone and loaded. So what we're gonna do is just go and get into single player, just like so, and it'll go and take a moment to load. And then what I'm gonna do is just create a survival world. We've now gone and spawned in. And as you can see, things do look quite a lot different really. It's a really cool pack. I find that it's quite like a lot darker. It gives a bit of like a darker theme. It's super cool though. Go and explore and go and see all this new stuff which you probably haven't seen before in Minecraft. Also, the minimap being in the top right is super useful as well. Helps you sort of navigate around. So I hope you guys did find this guide useful and you are enjoying the pack. If you do, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. And it means you'll be kept up to date with future videos as well, uh, so you can go and keep seeing them. And as you can see, look at all these different sort of plants as well, which we're starting to go and see. And if you're in need of a Minecraft server, then definitely go and check out Apex Hosting. I'll put a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. We really do appreciate them sponsoring this video. It helps support the channel. So go and check them out. As often, there's gonna be some sort of deal on, um, and you can also just go and check out the features as well. And and they do offer more than just Minecraft hosting as well if you're interested in that. So yeah, I think that is about everything. If there are any other guys you'd like to go and see, whether it be Minecraft or more broader uh, tech-based stuff, then make sure you drop a comment and we'll try our best to go and make it for you uh, as we do really appreciate that. So yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I look forward to catch you in the next one. Goodbye.